The City of New York is installing clean solar energy on schools, hospitals, firehouses, and government facilities across our neighborhoods. With the release of One City Built to Last, Mayor Bill de Blasio outlined a climate change action plan to bring clean energy to our cities and to transform our buildings for a low carbon future. Buildings actually are responsible for the majority of the emissions in New York City. So to improve and reduce our carbon footprint, we are installing solar power 100 megawatts by the year 2025. Installing solar power is part of our overall plan to reduce our city emissions, our greenhouse gas emissions, 80% by the year 2050. We are working to achieve the cleanest air of any major U.S. city, and we are leading by example with our public buildings. So far, New York City has installed solar on 52 public buildings, and we have 100 more locations in the pipeline. So this solar PV installation is one of 24 that we've built in partnership with the New York Power Authority over the past year, totaling over five megawatts of solar installed capacity. These 24 solar systems will save this city $1.2 million in energy costs each year and reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 2,000 metric tons annually. So by installing solar power on our largest rooftops like the school here, we are cost effectively scaling up our clean energy resources, which both reduces our energy costs and our carbon footprint. So as we expand our clean energy program, we'll be building more and more solar systems on publicly owned sites, bringing clean and affordable energy to the city. Today we're here in Staten Island at Tottenville High School. This is one of 24 rooftop solar photovoltaic systems that are installed across the five boroughs. So at this site, we have a little over 1,700 modules. Uh, in total, these add up to about 532 kilowatts of installed capacity. So the system at this site will offset the total annual energy use of the school by about 34%. So this is a rooftop mounted system. It's self-ballasted, which means that we don't make any roof penetrations. And this helps us in that we're not uh, voiding any existing warranties. We're not increasing the likelihood of any leaks in the building. It's much lower impact and allows us to roll out these projects a little bit more quickly. They're relatively easy to put together. They just scale up with size. So you have a rack component, which is ballasted by the blocks. And then you install the modules on top and wire it all together back down to the basement. It takes a lot of time just because it's large, but the complexity of it's pretty low. So having solar panels installed on the roofs of school buildings is a really unique thing. So it's a great way for students to understand renewable energy sources and clean energy. So we do want to take strides to connect what's happening on the rooftops with the classrooms through curriculum, having you know, fun activities that engage them in this kind of new science. So green technology is a really interesting emerging field and one that could potentially employ a lot of our students in the future. So it's a, it's a fantastic thing to be able to have them see this at an early age to get them excited about renewable energy. So our solar arrays will engage the next generation of science leaders. So we are hoping to create environmental stewards uh, by doing all these different solar energy projects throughout the city of New York.